Hi there and welcome again to ITAuthority.tv. In this video we're talking about backup strategies and the Locky virus and how you actually go about recovering from such a situation. So in a previous video that's been very popular, we discussed Locky virus and we explained that you need a good backup strategy because basically the antivirus software can't get you out of the jam once you've been bitten. The only way to get around it is to recover your data. Now, if you're not familiar with Locky virus and what exactly it is, then please watch that video. We also discussed in a previous video uh, about four elements to a good backup strategy and hopefully this video is going to explain exactly what we mean by that. We use two products to do, the, uh, to do our backup strategies for various clients. One is called Attics 5 and there will be a separate video made on that shortly coming up in the next few days. The other is Storagecraft and that's exactly what this video is all about. So before I go into Storagecraft and explain how we use it, let's give you a quick overview from Storagecraft. With so many disasters coming your way, how can you possibly recover from them all, every time, everywhere? Like this. True recoverability begins before the disaster with the right recovery-focused backup for each system. You know your backups are focused on recovery because you've asked the right questions. Does this system have any special requirements? How important is the data? How quickly does this system need to be recovered? Then, you've copied those backups and sent them to a secondary site so that you can recover as efficiently as you need to from local storage when you can and from off-site storage when you can. not Of course, you work with all those backups from a central, easily accessible location and you manage them to keep your storage costs low and to keep the backups ready for recovery. Then, you test them regularly so that you know they'll work. And you know what? When disaster strikes, they do work because you've built them from the ground up to recover and when the time comes, you have plenty of options. So it doesn't matter how big the disaster or how small. It doesn't matter if it's mother nature or human nature. When you have recoverability, you have the confidence to recover every time, everywhere. So now that you've seen that, hopefully you understand what it is Storagecraft can do, but let's talk about how we actually go about using this without getting very technical. We would provide to you a small storage box, which is about this this big and we don't charge you for the hardware we just supply it as part of the service and what that piece of kit will do is it'll take a snapshot of every workstation on your network on a daily basis and it will store those on the storage box that helps us recover workstations very very quickly um, rather than having to reinstall everything from scratch now let's look at the server we, we take a snapshot of the server and we store it on the storage box too However, the snapshots of the servers are done every hour. So an hourly snapshot is taken, and then at the end of the day, we roll all of those snapshots into a daily backup, and then at the end of the week, we roll all of those up into a weekly backup, and then at the end of the month, we roll all the weeklies into a monthly backup. Now this gives us the ability to go back in time to any specific time that we need to. In fact, if our service has been running a year, we will actually have a year's worth of backups. If you've got a good internet connection, um, then we will replicate all of that up into the cloud and you have an offsite backup taken care of. If you don't have a particularly good internet connection, then we probably won't replicate all the hourly ones. Uh, we'll just replicate the daily ones overnight to the cloud. If you've got a really bad internet connection, and I know many of you do, then we wouldn't replicate anything to the cloud. We would suggest instead that you use USB hard drives. You can get a two terabyte hard drive now for hundred pounds, and I would suggest you get one for each day of the week. Um, and then you can just rotate those on a daily basis and keep, you know, each day bring in the next day's backup, take home the last day's backup. You've got your offsite backup solution. The key element to all of this is that the backups are snapshot backups which means if the Locky virus gets hold of all your data today or any, anything tries to encrypt all the data or delete the data or destroy the data in any way, it doesn't matter what's happened to those files today because we can delete them. We can go back to what they were like an hour ago, two hours ago, three hours ago, a week ago, a month ago, etc. And we can restore everything the full server, the operating system, the lot. That's a product that we use, Storagecraft, and that's how we go about using it. If you'd like to know more about that, then please do contact us. Um, 
If you found this in, uh, video uh, informative, then please subscribe to the channel. We are doing a live uh, two day event in the not too distant future. We're hoping in the next two to three months. So we're just waiting for a date to be confirmed and then we have all our partners ready to take part in that and it's gonna be very informative. So please do subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you found this interesting. All that's left for me to say for now is, thanks for taking the time to watch. <laughs>